Hi guys, so today we're having a look at a new product from NYX. This is their Epic Smoke Liner. So this is a pencil liner with a little brush at the end for smoking it out. This is the same brush that they used on their fluffy brows pencil that I used to use until I decided my brows needed to be purple to match my hair. So <laughs> there's 10 colours available in this at the moment. I've got Violet Flash. Um, I'm just going to try and show you on Beauty Bay the sort of colours that we've got. Um, so all kind of deeper colours. Apart from this, rose dust and white smoke. I'm not really sure what sort of smoky eye you would get with these. Very interesting. I guess if you had a darker skin tone, this might, the white smoke one would be really interesting. Anyway, I've got Violet Flash. These are £11 and you get 0 0.17 grams of product. It's an eyeliner, it's always going to be tiny. So we've got an application section and we're going to do a wear test and we'll see how this goes. Right, so let's get going. I've took both caps off just in case this sits down quite quickly. I do actually like this kind of diamond shaped tip. It's not like a teardrop um, like I was expecting. So yeah. Um, I'm so not good with pencil liner so bear with me. I don't know what way feels natural to use this shape of tip now. Kinda wish this was a normal shaped pencil. I feel like I probably need to use quite a lot. We're meant to be blending this out as well. So let's do that just now. Maybe I'll need to go back. I feel like this is quite a subtle colour actually. I was hoping it would be a bit stronger. Because if it's subtle on me, with my milk bottle complexion, what's going to be like on anybody else? So, let's... There you go. There's a big thick chunk of colour. That's looking a bit better. A bit more smoky. I kind of wish I'd bought the black one, not gonna lie. Um, I think it would be quite cool to do a chunky line with one of the nice colours like this and then go back smoke the black kind of underneath it I will say if you're not very good at doing eyeliner this is a, a great option because it almost doesn't matter what shape of line as long as you're roughly following you know your your lash line. But I was hoping this would be quite a quick on the go type situation and maybe with the darker colours it would be. So I wish they'd brought more of like a burgundy purple. So this eye I'm just going to go in really really heavy handed. You know, I'm going back and forward. Still blends out nice and easily. So I really like these brushes. I used to use the brow 
pencil that had this kind of brush on it. Um, initially I thought it was going to be the exact same packaging, but the actual pencil tip itself is a different shape, so it's not. Um, Yeah, this is definitely something that I think you would need to take a bit of time with. Um, it's not as quick and easy as I'd hoped. But, you know, it's it's a look. Um, perhaps would be easier using a just powder shadow the colour you want. But if you were going like from work to a night out, like perhaps the black one of this would really add a lot of drama to like a daytime neutrally work safe look, work appropriate look. So you know perhaps that is where this product kind of falls. I'm going to put on mascara and see if it looks better. My mascara is a bit gunked up, which is weird, it's not that old. But I've got a few mascaras to review, so not the worst if I have to get rid of one early. Okay. I'd say this eye was the better looking one to begin with anyway, um, where I took a bit more time with the liner rather than scribbling it on. Um, I just kind of wanted to see the difference. Um, yeah, see what I mean? That mascara has gone a bit funny and clumpy. I'm going to try cleaning the brush and the tube, see if that helps. But yeah, at the moment, this is my eye look. Um, still want to go back and blend this side a bit more. But because it is such a small brush, you can go back in, even when you've got your mascara and stuff done, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wear this about for the day, see how it goes, see what we end up with. Um, yeah, got my phone there. So it's just after 12, so we will be back with check-ins. Right, so we're back. It is 20 past 11, so I've had this eyeliner on for a while. My eyes done their usual watery thing, so bear with me. But I pretty much noticed nothing to update you guys on. Still very pastel looking. Um, I definitely think I want to get the black one and see how they kind of work together. Um, I'm going to order it on Beauty Bay. I'm just waiting to see if anything else gets added that I want to order. Um, yeah, so I've still got the colour. Um, it's very pastel, which isn't usually my go-to style. Um, but I think if I have this blended kind of further up and then the black closer to the lash line, I think that would be cooler, a bit more me type style, um, as long as it works like that. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more <laughs> just to see kind of how it works. So I do think this could be a really cool like day to night product, but it would have to work well kind of adding more on top because um, theoretically if I do like this whole adding the black in at the lash line I could wear this as my daytime colour um, and then add the black. I really wish there'd been a green version of this I think that would have been gorgeous although I've been wearing a lot of green makeup lately and with the purple hair it's really making me think of comic books. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so building that up has worked fine. 
Um, it does feel like a fairly creamy eyeliner. I forgot to mention that earlier. You know, it's, it's transferring on really nice. It's blending out nice. My God, I need to block my eyebrows. So yeah, I'm gonna get the black one just so we can. Oops. <laughs> Bye mirror. Just so we can see how that works. So I'll come back once I've done that um, and get a final decision. But at the moment, I do really, really, really like this. I just think this is a strange colour. Um, I feel like I want something a bit darker for a smoky eye. I mean, you blend it out to a lighter colour, but it needs to be darker at the base, in my opinion, anyway. So we'll see how well the two colours would blend together and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I've got it in black. I don't know why I didn't just order it in the first place. But I guess then if it was a horrible product and I had two of them, I'd have wasted money. So technically I was being sensible, which is rare. So <laughs> I've got the purple on. I've got it blended a little bit higher up. Um, apart from in that corner, but you know. Anyway, let's go in with the one black smoke. Got the brush out already. Just being careful not to knock my mascara too much. I can see a little bit of kind of crumblies from that already. Let's zoom you in a bit more and hope this is still blendable. <laughs> yeah. Don't know whether it's going to blend enough to not just look like two separate lines. Has. That's good. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I like I like that a lot. So let's break it down, though. Could you do this with any eyeliner or brush? Yep. Is it convenient to have it in one go for touch-ups or changing up your look on the go? Depends on your life how often you're going to use that. Um, you get plenty of like small compact brushes that would be easy to keep in your bag. Um, so, eh. If you need a new eyeliner anyway and you like pencils and you like one of the colours they have, sure, go for this one. It's got that handy dandy nice brush on there. Um, do clean it though. It's still cleanable even though it's built in. Um, yeah, I definitely think these have their place and I like them. I wish they brought out more colours. Like I said, like a green, like a proper, proper green, like an emeraldy, jewel toned green, I think would be amazing. Um, but as it is, I'll just blend a nice green eyeshadow and it'll be fine. And then maybe do that to smoke the lashes out for. Oh, I've made my eyes a funny shape. Okay. I'm going to go back and touch that up. But um, yeah, I think the colour selection within this is a little bit funny. Like there's some very light colours that I don't think you'd get a smoky effect from. But I do like the built-in brush compared to those old foam smudgers that you used to get. I haven't seen them in a while. Um, but yeah, I think this brush, this type of brush is actually really, really good for blending and smoking out. And the fact that it's cleanable bonus because I don't think you could really clean those little spongy ones. Anyway, I think these are good, just strange colour selection, maybe expand it. If you're needing an eyeliner, might as well buy one like this and it's good for jazzing up your look on the go. So if you've got any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you and I'll see you next time. Bye!